guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some Halloween signs and how to draw some Halloween characters. So first, I'm going to start off by putting my paper, splitting my paper into four groups so that I can show you guys the four different characters. Okay, so first one I'm going to start off with is a spider web. So what you're going to do is you're going to make... Um, a um, plus sign and then you're going to have lines going through it to make it kind of like a snowflake okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to go like that to all of them So, I'm just going to keep going all the way or as far as I want to go. So, There is your spider web. So um, I am just going to write like that. Now let's go on to the next one, which is going to be a skeleton. Okay. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, I have to go do something. So, um, now we're going to be drawing a skeleton and this box. So, what you're gonna do is you're going to have like, you can actually tilt your paper for the step and just draw a C. But you don't want to do it like the whole way. You just want to do it like that. Okay, so, and then you're going to want to take that one that you probably did more of. Hold on, I'm sorry there's a glare. Okay, now you guys can see. Okay, there we go. You guys can hopefully see that better. And then you're just going to go like that. skeleton head with the jaw. Now you're going to just do a line and then you're going to just put lines through it and it should kind of look like a scarecrow mouth or like a jack skeleton's mouth. Now what you're going to do is you're going to draw a heart actually and um, you can color that in. I'm going to color mine in this so it um, pops more, but you can twist to the paper and do the heart like that, and yeah, okay. But I'm just going to keep it like that, and then you're just going to draw its eyes. You can do ovals, but I'm choosing just to do circles. Of course, these are not like any professional drawings. They're just like cute little Halloween drawings. And now you have your skeleton. Okay, so for the next one is a classic Halloween one. A ghost. So we're going to be a ghost. Hold on, I have to go grab something. Sorry, I just had to um, just grab something. So, ghost. So, I'm just going to do that. Okay, so just a reminder, we've already done our skeleton and our spider web, and now we're going on to our ghost. So what you're going to start off with is like an upside down um, 
U. Or, I mean, yeah, a U, sorry. It's like an uppercase, upside down U. I'm just going to make the lines a little thicker and nicer. Okay. So, now I've got my ghost amount them to be kind of normal. And for this step, sorry, you can either do like a triangle, um, like a triangle, like the end of the ghost, but I'm going to be doing like wave, kind of. And so, I just have my wave going. And... So there you go. That is your ghost body. Now you can choose to have like the eyelash ghost kind of thing go, but I don't really like those. So I'm just going to be doing some oval eyes. This is kind of like the Pac-Man characters. Because like, they're ghosts. And I'm going to do a tiny smile. Like that. And you can add lines to the ends of them, but I'm not I'm choosing not to, but you can. So there is your cute little friendly ghost. Or you can make him scary with like teeth or something. I don't know. And then for the last one, we are going to be John. Bones would be a good one, but no. that's to be drawing a vampire. Tell me if you guys want a part two because I think that would be really fun because these are really fun and easy videos to make. So uh, you guys have some stuff to watch too and since Halloween is in like two weeks I think it'd be good videos to do. And so now I'm, you're just going to you can draw like a Dracula head where it's like more of an oval. I'm just going to do a circle head with a little of openness. See that? Yeah. And then I'm going to just draw the neck like that. Okay. Going to do some shoulders. And I'm not going to do individual fingers. I'm just going to do um, some arms with like three little lines of them. Obviously, people have like four to five fingers. I mean, it could be less depending on your circumstances, but most people have five fingers, right? Um, I did three little lines in there because um, I'm using Sharpie, so it's kind of hard to make those skinny, skinny lines because Sharpie can only be so skinny. <laughs> okay, so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these uh, shirts. I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to um, don't like vampires wear like tuxes. Hold on one sec. Let me check. I don't want to give you guys the wrong information. Okay, here. Let's search up vampires. Is it still valid? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, good. So, um, images. Oh, those are like really scary vampires. So, let's uh, put in cartoon. Those are like scary, scary vampires. Okay. Okay. Okay, I found one that I like, and I'm going to have you guys draw with me. So, now what I'm just going to do is, um, I'm going to do like that, you know, I'm just going to do like a little edge in the corner of black, like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to like even out the bottom. So I have like a vest kind of thing going on because I think a vest would be like really cool. So, hold on, I'm sorry guys. I didn't come prepared, I guess. Well, I didn't know I was doing this video for until a few minutes ago. So, um, now, hold on, let me look at the Hotel Transylvania one because I like that one. Okay, so 
yeah, so I'm just going to color the vest all black and I'll be back. I got the black vest all colored in and I'm just going to leave the other part um, white. Let me go grab a red marker for, you know, the like inside of the cape. I'll be right back. Dry erase markers on normal paper, but this is like the only red marker we have right now, so I'm just gonna use it. Um, so I'm just going to kind of do like Dracula's hair from Hotel Transylvania, where he doesn't have like much hair, um, but he has kind of like that kind of hair, you know. I'm gonna make it just a little bigger. Can we get stand out some more? Okay, there we go. So I made a little bit of it. And now it's very cute. Okay, well, <laughs> not cute. Uh, now I'm just gonna do a nose. This is how I draw my noses, but of course you don't have to draw your nose like that. I'm just going to do my normal eyes and then some eyebrows. I did a bit too close up to the face. An accident, but that's what I have right now. And I have his eyebrows, eyes, and nose. And then I'm just going to um, do. I found a picture of Dracula online, and I'm just going based off of that one. And of course, if you're drawing a vampire, you need veins. And um, in the picture I'm looking at, he has like very pointy teeth, almost like elf. Elf. Yeah, that's right. Elf teeth. Elf teeth. Elf teeth. Try saying that five times fast. Or if you can do ten, comment down below if you could, if you did it. Because that's kind of hard. Also, while I am drawing the cape, make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. So you know when I come out with awesome videos like this one. Also, make sure you definitely hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be doing some subscriber videos where I bring them into my videos. I may, I'm probably not going to show your faces, but I will say your name. And um, and I might give you guys a prize. So I'm actually just going to draw some uh, pants now and color them black. And I'll be right back. So color his pants and... They're all done. I think that it would um, actually be cool to um, like add a like bow tie. I just don't have any room, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, so I'm actually going to um, color his cape now. So I'm just going to color um, half of it black, and half of it red. And I'll show you guys what that looks like when I finish because I can only make 15 minute videos and I don't want to have you guys just watching me for the, um, the whole time. So I will be back once I have the whole cake finished and I'll show you all of the complete drawings. 